welcome to Ganesh Institute. So in today's video, what we are going to discuss is international marketing research. How can we do a research in order to get entry in the international market? So let's see. There is a basic thing. You know, research is like collecting data, right? Collecting data, that means gathering data, analyzing it, interpreting it. So that can be in two forms, be it primary research or secondary research. Now when we say primary research or secondary research, it is all about getting an information, right? When we are getting the information, that information can be based on quantity, quantity of data or quality of data, right? So these are the two forms of information which are there when we are following the research time. Okay. Now whenever you are, obviously you are a company, you have a product and or a service and you want to sell it across the international market. So what you want now? More and more information. So in primary research or if you are doing secondary research, what is important is just to get an in-depth knowledge about the concept, about the market, right? So as to get deviated from the home market and get entry into the foreign market. Now, whenever we are doing any type of research, we have surveys, we have observation or focus groups, interviews. There are many forms through which we can do the research okay in primary research what we are doing that company itself is collecting the data or if company is very big or it, it doesn't want to invest much by itself then they hire a third company that means they outsource the research company but anyways any which way they are doing what collection of data correct so what they do they're outsourcing it but ultimately they are having the data in its primary form right they are doing it by themselves whereas in secondary data what they do they get it from others observation so others observation is there right and then what is there maybe you can go to your competitor's website and can get um, through that competitor's website you can get some data and try to analyze it what interpretation can can be found right now these are the two differences but anyways whenever you are doing either primary or secondary research you are doing it to know about the market right the, the attributes the consumer buying behavior right these are the two important things so there are some functions of marketing research so whenever you do a market research it can act as a stimulus so there is a stimulating function how you have you want to take a decision whether to take an entry or not into that particular market so to get that idea, you will figure out what type of customers are there, <clears throat> what are their characteristics, their attributes, what do they like, what do they don't like, what do they not like. So all these things, the stimulus is given by the market research so as to take the decision. So market research acts as a stimulus. Okay. Then we have predictive function. So in predictive function, what we do? We predict what can be the future. So let's say, uh, you know, before COVID, if though we could not uh, predict the epidemic, otherwise we could have saved so many lives. But now we understand that anything can happen anytime. And post COVID, companies are ready. So as to provide, you know, uh, work from home to employees, so that the work could uh, work will not suffer. So predictive function is like when you do market research in order to find out the market trends, what 
will be the market trend will uh, customers be following online mode of transaction in future or offline what do they prefer to have in future all these things will come under predictive function okay then we have evaluative function what is it evaluative function so let me write it down so evaluative function means as the name suggests you are doing evaluation so now you have data with you you are just trying to figure it out which data will go where not every market is same you have differentiated market so as your strategy should be so your market strategy should be differentiated based on the evaluation criteria of the data which you got okay then you have controlling function what do you mean by controlling function so you have data with you right now though you cannot control the external outcomes or external circumstances around you as a company in the international market you cannot control the laws outside there but the internal environment how the research should be these are the attributes we should have we should incorporate technology new technology is the trend we should incorporate that in this so these are the controlling functions through which we can operate our functions operate our operations and then can have the results the desired results right then we have affirmative function of market and research affirmative functions you know what affirm is so affirmation means when you are you know having a uh, having a positive thing in hand and you are keeping it i mean with full determination you are setting it right so in affirmative function what market research does is that you have the insights with you that these are the goals according to the data we want this our sales are declining we don't want any more this so what you need the insights and your path to follow the planning and implementation should go inside so affirmative function market research with the help of that data we can have affirmation in hand and market research keep us on track what to do at the right time right so with all these things what we have is market development once the research is on the right track our planning our functions will be on the right track and we will be having market development so i would like to know how can we do this research for example let's say you have a cafe and you are seeing that you know these days sales is not working that well sales is not that well so what you would do either you can do non experimental survey let me uh, remove it just bear with me so as you can see what is happening okay so if you now as of now we have studied what is primary and secondary research right we are going to dig deeper about what is that when it comes to let me select the pen okay market development we have now if you want to do the survey to find out why your sales are declining what you can do either you can opt non experimental survey or you can have technological survey or instrumental survey okay so when you see non experimental survey what you are doing you are not using any experiment it's just the observation what you are doing it can be quantitative it can be qualitative for example you want to understand the buying behavior of your customer you want to know which age group is following your website which age group is liking your product what you will do you may have seen 
you might have seen some cookies on the website when you click on them right so these websites are having cookies so as to get the data of those customer so this is an example of qualitative study for non experimental survey when it comes to quantitative what you have is you can have groups maybe you can have you know two or three people from adult section or old age people what do they prefer to like at your cafe and you can ask questions based on that you can have uh, you know you can give them that from 1 to 10 which point do you want to give for this particular thing particular product and those numerical data can come under the category of quantitative right whereas when we say instrumental so instrumental that means we are using some instrument some technology okay and in that technology what what is the difference when it comes to non experimental survey and technology is that in non experimental survey you can have bias nature of the interviewer maybe i prefer vegetarian food and i would like you know all the respond uh, all the respondents who are there should also confirm and should also agree with me but this is not the case when it comes to technological or instrumental survey so these are the things when it comes to you know research you should acknowledge once research is there market development you have to do and for that survey is done but now it comes to testing test your prototype test your prototype whatever you have made based on the survey or feedback or it is your first time launch this product and have the comparison because it is a new concept so obviously you will get different types of feedback and before testing it before doing it please try to get the secondary data also from internal as well as external sources internal source may be you know we all have if i'm not a new business or if i have been doing it from my domestic market i must be having some of the data i will be having i mean maybe there is in house research team who is doing it so internal sources past reports old reports competitors report which we have been you know working upon for so far so internal data includes that whereas external source when it comes to secondary research we are getting it from outside so in external we we may want to look at some governmental portal government portal for example if you are going to do your business in uk so you will be you know you should be looking at the government website that what are the laws of businesses what what are do's and don'ts when you are running a business so if you want to have a report reliable report on the market on the basis of which you can interfere i mean intervene what is there infer what is there so those data from outside portal from public institutions will come under the category of external okay you can have survey also like written survey or in person in which what you will do in return you will you know you will you will be having a questionnaire and you will ask you can keep it anonymous also you know uh, no need to no need for your customer to tell who they are in written form what you can do you can you can ask all those questions which can help you to find out to reach to that result which is your favorite uh, product which food would they prefer when it comes to seasons all those things and in person there is a survey which you can have in terms of interviews person to person so these are the things which you can do you can observe while doing while entering into any new market so these are the very prerequisite steps which one should follow 
in order to make the business successful this is it i'm hoping that you have understood it and if so then don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel till my next video take care of yourself bye bye